Hello friends, welcome back. I'm going to start a new web series on GitLab and we'll see how to make use of GitLab, what is GitLab, how to use it, how to check and check out your code, how to commit, what is remote repository, what is local repository and how to configure GitLab. So I hope you guys know like there are a couple of, couple of ways to make use of GitLab. Let me just mention here. Okay. One is either by using commands. So you can use git bash or git terminal to write your commands. Okay. So when I'm saying commands, you can use commands to create a repository or like git in it or you can push or you can use the command git clone to get the clone on like in your project tree you can use git push git pull so there are git status so there are so many commands and you can use these commands to take care of your code you can push your code into your remote repository right and you can check out your code from your remote repository as well you can do whatever you want to do in your local and then you can push into your remote repository so first thing is by using git bash or git, git terminal or either what second approach is if you have configured your git bash then you can make use of windows command prompt also Okay, but for that you need to have like if you want to make use of Windows command prompt to do your check in check out and everything or if you want to run all the git commands on your Windows prompt Windows prompt then you need to have git installed on your machine. Okay. So if you want I will share the link for that like how to install git on your machine. I have already made a video on that so I will share the link and the next approaches which is like more comfortable is either by using git plugin in your IDE so this is my favorite approach and it's a better approach it's always good to have everything in one place right so what you can do is there are three ways uh, to make use of GitLab one is by using git bash or git terminal and there you can run your commands okay or second is you can make use of windows command prompt okay let me just see so this is git bash terminal this is how it looks like and now you can run your commands to see whatever you want to do so see i just ran a command git version to identify the version so current version which I am using is 2.2.41 okay now here I can run all my commands I can create a local repository and all so for that I already have a video I'll share the link with you guys okay second is you can make use of windows you just go to windows and type your so this is my windows terminal cmd right windows command let me just increase the font size uh, font size I'll make it okay so here you can see so this is my one second please okay. so this is my git terminal so it when you install when you install git on your system then you will have this one in place and second approach i can make use of windows command prompt but you need to configure the environment variables okay so for example let me see if i have done this one already so if you see git version it's working it means i already have this configuration done on my machine okay so this is approach to second way of doing it third is we can make use of a plugin git plugin or in eclipse and you can make use of same plugin in eclipse we call it e git so basically it's a plugin designed and developed by eclipse and then you can install this plugin into your eclipse id or your code ready netbeans or whatever you have so it will work with each of your id okay that we'll see in this video
okay friends so let's see how to install egit so what you have to do for that is just go to google.com and type git plugin for eclipse okay so what you do when you you are there just click on the very first website eclipse.org slash egit there okay now what you have to do is just click on the download link okay let me just increase the font size slightly okay i hope you can see my screen now if you see here here is the link main update site this one so this is what is the recommended and this is what you need to install git plugin in your id okay so let me just copy this one here git uh, i'll put this down here okay okay now you have to start your eclipse so it's here i'm there already then you have to go to help i hope you can see here help and then click on installed install new software i hope you can see my screen clearly and then just get the url plugin url and then click on add just type here what do you want you, you can simply write here git plugin and here just paste the url which you just copied from the official website of eclipse okay now click on add now here you can see it says git integration for eclipse yes we want that so i simply click on yes then it says git integration for eclipse experimental features if you want it's all up to you if you don't want nothing will happen so i'll just ignore and then it says java implementation of git so like some other additional things if you want you can just click if you don't want you can simply ignore okay but for now i'll just go with this git integration for eclipse thing okay and then i click on next i hope you guys are following me here so the second option is optional if you want you can choose third is also optional java implementation of git if you want you can have this one as you can ignore okay click on next it won't take much time so now again one more time next accept the terms and then click on finish here you can see it's downloading installing something in my id itself okay it's a very light plugin it won't take much time for you guys it is asking me to restart the id i'll say yes So it's restarting my ID. Okay, meanwhile, if you want to install this plugin in your Code Ready Studio, so I have my Code Ready Studio here. The approach will be exactly the same. Help, go for install new softwares, click on add, type your git. Plugin is basically name. You can write whatever you want, and you write here. You paste your URL in the location, and then click on Add. If you see same thing, you just click click one, and then click on Next, Next, Next. But for me, because I already have, so this Next button is disabled for me. So what I will do is I'll just cancel. I'll just go back install. If you see here, I already have Git plugin configured here the same name and if you see this it's already installed and this i skipped and this part also i skipped okay so for me for me i have already installed in my code ready studio in my code ready studio okay let's just exit out of this let's go back to the eclipse but the approach will be exactly same you need to go to help 
install new software so click on add there you mention plugin name and the url okay now you can see here uh, here is git plugin okay now if you we'll expand this one you will see all terms are installed so basically whatever was there we have installed that one okay now just let me just cancel this one and then okay now let's make sure that we have git configured so what you have to do is this windows then show view here go to others and now type here is git okay git repositories click on open so now here you have an option to add an existing local repository clone a git repository or create a new lo local git repository so these are the options okay we'll talk about these options one by one in the coming videos but for now we have configured git plugin in the eclipse ide now you can make use of your ID itself to push the code, to get the clone, right? To create the repositories and whatever you want to do that can be done by using your Eclipse only. Okay. Simple, right? So that's it for this video, guys. In the coming video, in the next video, in the next videos, we'll see how to create a local repository, remote repository, how to clone the project from your github account okay so all those things we'll cover in the coming videos thank you for watching bye for now